All right, we're headed east on, uh, well, believe it or not, the, the county road. <laughs> this is a, an old county road that basically, um, our understanding is because there's, there's no one that lives out here, the county really doesn't spend any time or money or resources on this road whatsoever. Uh, they do maintain it up to um, about a quarter mile or so of here because there's a, a house uh, and they maintain it up to the house in much, much better shape than this. So that could be something where if you buy a tract and you're thinking about building or whatnot, you can talk to the county and tell them, hey, uh, how about you do what you should do with that county road and make it usable? So we're headed easterly on track three. Um, this part we just passed, it rises up steeply off this road. And we're gonna call this the South Road. There are two roads that you can use to access this property. There's, there's this one and there's one further to the north. Let's pull up a bit more where the road gets better. Whoa. Okay. Uh, but interesting thing about track three, unlike tracks one and two, it has a substantial amount of property um, on the south side or the, the right side of the road as well as, as we're headed uh, out of here, it's on the right. Topo map shows um, a fairly large, fairly level area over here that the other tracks just do not have. This is actually quite pretty. We've got, uh, actually we've got dozens of walnut trees down here, but most of them are, are fairly young. About like this guy, this is probably a, I don't know, 15 year old walnut, maybe 20, just guessing. Uh, and that bigger walnut tree, that's 50, 60 years old. It takes quite a while for them to get that large and, and black walnuts are quite valuable, but look at just dozens of, of uh, younger walnut trees. So there's your kid's college fund or your grandkid's spaceship fund or whatever. They're just going to get bigger. One would hope. <laughs> um, so that's that's quite level over there. Uh, looking on the, the northern, northerly side of the road, it certainly rises up. But man, we've got some beautiful timber over here. Look at these hardwood trees. These are not walnuts, but these are... Uh, to me, they look like white oaks, red oaks and white oaks. There's kind of an interesting, maybe there used to be a big tree there and it, it fell over and, and left that stump hole. So you could potentially, you know, punch in a driveway here. You can see where it levels up there. And that's honestly, that's probably where that Northern road is because that would have been done on a, a level ridge. So you could potentially do a driveway here. You'd, you'd obviously want to angle it or you'd have a steep driveway, but not even a full day with a, a mid-sized machine and you could have a pretty nice driveway going up on this one. Oh, that timber is beautiful. And we're gonna see if we can't, uh, before it gets dark on us, we're gonna see if we can't have a look at that Northern road as well. Quite a property. So that is track three. Eh, camera running. I didn't realize we have quite a bit more road frontage on track three to look at. Track three is a little over 300 feet wide, but the road um, comes in and then angles up and goes north-south for a while. So it's probably got 600 feet of road frontage, I would guess. And still on the right, on the east side or south side of the road, very level. On the left, rises up and then levels off. Uh, once you get back a couple hundred feet, it looks like. And that's, like I said, that's probably where the other road is. So now we're coming toward the east side of track three. Oh, look at all those pretty hardwood trees. Some big ones back there. Gorgeous. Wow. Got a little more.
more track three left, actually. Over here on the right, we're seeing sycamores, we're seeing walnuts on the east side of the road. Very cool. And now we're basically at the east side of track three, according to our, our interactive map. And again, look at all those hardwood trees. There are some beautiful, tall, straight hardwoods. Uh, on this track. That is awesome. And if you're thinking this looks steep, we agree 100%. This definitely does look steep. Um, but if you were to angle in the driveway, I, I don't think it would be that bad. And you've got over 300 feet. The big thing about doing a, an angular driveway is you need some width. You can't do it on a 30 foot wide section. And here we've got over 300 feet. So you could certainly angle it in uh, and it would take the steepness, it'll take a lot of the steepness out of this. It would just be up to you or your bulldozer operator as to how much steepness you wanted to take out. So we'll cut it there for track three, but we will try to do a video uh, of that Northern Road as well.